Welcome back. It's Todd Seward, your co-host, along with Stacey Tinglin, your other co-host, and this is TNT's News You Can Use. So we're at stage four of the home buying process. We went through stage one, the pre-approval, stage two, property search, stage three, accepted offer search. So now we're at the closing day. So stage four is closing day. So stage four is the most exciting part of the process. Closing day. So there's a couple of other things that we have to cover before we close on our home, guys. So what are some of those things that our buyers need to do in preparation for closing on their dream home, Todd? So you need to prepare yourself by bring by having two photo identification with you that you need to bring to the closing. Also, proof of wire funds. You would probably be asked either the day before or the morning of to wire money for down payment, closing costs, any out-of-pocket costs you have associated with the transaction to the settlement agent. So you need to bring proof of that. And bring a checkbook if you need to do. So you get all that together, and there's one step before we actually get to the closing table, and it's called the final walkthrough. Stacy, what's a final walkthrough? So the final walkthrough, guys, is what we do either the day before or the day of the closing. We walk with you through the property to make sure that the property is in the same condition mm -hmm. that it was in when we submitted our initial offer on the property. Stacy, I always like to help clients understand that the final walkthrough, it's not a home inspection, nope. nor is it a time to have your contractor come in and measure and do estimates and things like that. You have 30 years to do that stuff once you close. <laughs> That's so, right. So the final walkthrough, as they said, is one, to go to the property to ensure it's in the same condition as it was when you made the offer. That's right, guys. And then we do check some things too, Stacey. What kind of things do we check when we're there? So when we're walking through the property, one of the things that we do is we turn on the lights. We mm -hmm. make sure the utilities are working. We turn the lights on. We turn them on, off, make sure that those things are in working order. We turn on the faucets, turn on the faucets in the kitchen. We turn on the faucets in the bathroom, but we not just, we don't only turn those faucets on. We let them run for a while. Mm -hmm. We open up the cabinets underneath, mm -hmm. um, in the bathrooms and the kitchen. We let those things run to make sure there are no leaking. We turn on the faucets in the bathtub, turn on. We also see the water pressure, We turn right? on all the faucets. All the faucets. We flush the toilets. Mm -hmm. Right. Make sure all of those things are in working order. And we also want to make sure that the property has been left broom swept, swept clean. clean as per the, the purchase and sales contract. So we've gotten through the final walkthrough. Everything's great. Next step is we go to the closing location. Stacey, yes. you want to talk about that? So we do go to the closing location. And once we get to the closing location, either the attorney who represents the buyer or the settlement agent will be sitting with the buyer and they're going to be reviewing all of the necessary documents. So that is where you will be what they consider signing your life away, guys. So there are a couple of documents, important documents that mm -hmm. the settlement agent or your attorney is going to be reviewing with you <clears throat> document by document mm -hmm. and explaining to you um, as you're going through the closing process. Mm -hmm. So those documents are the mortgage paperwork, the closing disclosure, the title paperwork, and the deed. Typically, contrary to some myths out there, it should take about a half an hour or so to get through all these documents. Sometimes it takes longer, but it should take about a half an hour. After you sign all the documents, the settlement agent then sends those to the bank or your lender for what we call funding approval. What happens then, Stace? The lender will review yeah. all of the documents. Documents also are notarized on the spot. Mm -hmm. They will review the documents, make sure all of the necessary documents are completed correctly, signed in all the appropriate places, initial in all the appropriate places, notarized in all the appropriate places, all the numbers are correct, everything looks good. Once the lender, uh, <clears throat> once the lender decides and determines that everything looks correct, they will approve. Funding. 
And when you have funding approval, guess what? You are a new home owner. You Closing is are closed, baby. And the deal is sealed. The seller gets their money. You get Everyone your keys. Gets, you get your keys. Everybody gets their check. And the celebration begins. So this is TNT News You Can Use, stage four of the home buying process. Stay tuned for stage five. This is an important but often overlooked stage. It's called the post-closing Post -closing, guys. Thanks for joining us and catch us on the next one.